Okay, so today's question is this one, given that alpha and beta are the root of 2x squared plus 3x minus 9 equals to 0. Form new equation with root alpha over 2 and beta over 2. And this is one famous question. Like, this kind of question is very commonly asked in SPM. It will be in different forms. Maybe they'll ask you to form new equation with alpha plus 2 or maybe beta plus 2. But... If you learn this method, it will be so super useful for you. So the information that is given is that 2x squared plus 3x minus 9 equals to 0. And from here, the roots are alpha and beta. And to solve this kind of question, two very important things to remember here. Okay, First of all, you need to remember this. SOR, which is the sum of roots, is equal to negative b over a. The second thing that you need to remember here is POR, which is the product of root, is equals to C over A. This is very, very important. So if you don't already know this, um, get a sticky note or whatever, just write it down and paste it in your notebook or wherever you will see it often enough that you will eventually remember it because this is super important. And so we are going to first find the new sum of root and new product of root. But to find that, we need to know the old sum of root and product of root first. So by using this formula, sum of root is actually, okay, sum of root is actually alpha plus beta since you have two roots here and the sum of root simply means addition, right? So you have alpha plus beta equals to negative b over a. So, where do you get the B and A? Well, it's from this equation right here. If you can see, this is the equation right here. And the one in front of X squared will be A. The one in front of X will be B. And this will be C. So, negative B over A will simply be negative 3 over 2. Okay? So, this is your negative 3 over 2 is your SOR. And now we have to find the product of roots. Product of roots simply means A times B, alpha, beta. And by referring to this formula, you'll see that it is equals to C over A, which is negative 9 over 2. So this is your sum of root and product of root. You have found it. And now we are going to find the new SOR. To find the new SOR, you have to first know your new roots. And your new roots have already been given. It's this one and this one. Right? So your new SOR would be alpha over 2 plus beta over 2. And since alpha and beta both have the same denominator, which is 2, you can just add it up directly and merge it into one single fraction. So you will have alpha plus beta over 2. Now we'll have a little bit of substitution work involved. Um, I'll just put it up here. Okay, now you're going to substitute the value which you already know for alpha and beta into this equation. So alpha and beta, if you would refer here, you'll know that alpha and beta equals to negative 3 over 2. So that's what you're going to use here. Negative 3 over 2. Don't forget the over 2 at the bottom. So you're going to put over 2 here. And just use your calculator and you will find the new sum of root, which is negative 3 over 4. Okay. We're going to like erase everything away except for the information that we have found over here, which is that the new SOR equals to negative 3 over 4 and so okay i'll just erase this side away all right so i'll just write it down here new s o r equals to negative 3 over 4 because we have found this previously and now the next step to do here will be to find the new p o r To find the new product of roots, you would have to know your new roots 
and you will just have to refer back to the question. As you can see here, the new roots are already given to you. It's alpha over 2 and beta over 2. So you're just going to multiply these two roots together to get your new product of roots. So you have alpha over 2 times by beta over 2. And your new POR would turn out to be alpha beta over 4. Okay. And then, previously we have already found your um, product of root, your original product of root, but we erased that, so I'm just going to like find it again. From POR, your product of root will be C over A. Refer to the equation, your product of root would be negative 9 over 2. Now you have this, you're going to substitute your alpha beta into this equation so your original alpha beta will be equals to negative 9 over 2 so just substitute here use your calculator and you'll be able to get the answer which is negative 9 over 8 so now you have your new SOR and you have your new POR as well but what they're asking is for a new equation they want a new equation so I'm going to erase this part here negative 9 over 8 and okay so to form a new equation you need to remember this be sure to go and memorize this which is x square minus s o r bracket x plus p o r equals to zero this is a super important equation general equation that you would use to solve these kind of questions so along with this is the first thing that you have to take note of and this is the second thing so make sure that you do familiarize yourself with this now we are going to form the, a new equation x square minus your new sor from here which is negative 3 over 4 but since it is um, twice negative so you're going to like neutralize it and it becomes positive so you're going to get plus 3 over 4 x and then the next thing that you want to do is to add POR, add your POR. And a lot of people actually forget to do this one last step, which will make you lose unnecessary marks. Because like if you can get to this step, you would have the full marks if you just put equals to zero here. But like a lot of people forget this. So make sure that you don't forget the equals to zero. This is super important. Take note of this, okay? So this could be your final answer or you could multiply the entire equation by 8 so that you do not have fractions like this. So you will get 8x squared and if you multiply by 8, you would get 6x and this one would be negative 9 equals to 0. And this will be your final answer. So this is how you solve this question. And this question is seriously super important. It is a constantly repeated past year. And it is one of the basic things that you have to know for chapter 2 as well. So if you don't already know this, I hope that this video has managed to like educate you. If you already knew this, then it served as a revision, I hope. So anyway, I hope that my explanations were okay and that you understood. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video, with a brand new question.